Quentin, uh, Josh, uh, they kept the intensity and the pace of the game going. And then we built on that. And then, you know, our starters, I thought, were, were terrific. I thought, you know, you can't say enough about, you know, what OG brings. Uh, you know, Jalen and Julius are, are going to be, to me, they're two all-stars. They're, they're, they're both terrific. They're unselfish. Um, and then we got really good center play out of Jericho and Precious, which I think was huge for us. Uh, so, you know, Dante gave us hustle and, you know, the three-point shooting. So, like, I think it was a good all-around uh, win. We were high assists, low turnover, good rebounding, uh, created – you know, good shots for each other. And they're, you know, you think every shot's going in with them. They take good shots and, you know, they've been on, on the road for a while. So, uh, but they're, they're, they're talented and they keep playing. They don't change style of play. They just keep going. Yeah, and I think you guys can see it. Like each game, a little more comfortable. And he's, he's, he's finding a good rhythm and, I think he's making really good decisions as to when to shoot and when to pass. Uh, but he's getting downhill and making a lot of good plays for us. He's very aggressive, which I like, but he's not forcing it either. Uh, and then, the, you know, the defense and the hustle, it's, it's terrific. Um, you know, so we're get, getting good, solid play there. And, and Jericho and, uh, and Precious, just, you know, to step in and do what they're doing says a lot about them. Well, I think it's twofold. I think, you know, it's what he brings to the team, but it's also what the guys here are bringing to him. You know, so it's, it's you know, when you get everyone invested in each other, good things come from that. And so uh, I don't think it's any one guy doing something, you know, that carries everyone else. It's everyone, you know, playing to their strengths, covering up their weaknesses. How do they complement each other? How do you play smart? you know, off of each other. How do you create advantages? And then the game tells you what to do. So if Jalen's being double teamed, just trust the pass and then get to the right spot. Same thing with Julius. And then with, with OG, it's his running the floor. It's dribble handoffs. It's uh, moving to space. He made plays off the dribble, pick and roll, you know, off flares, different things. He's moving around, moving without the ball great. Uh, and I think everyone, I thought Quentin really got a good rhythm going as well. And I thought Deuce got, got into a good rhythm. I think that's important. Um, the schedule, though, is you don't have a ton of time. OG and Precious were talking the other day about early work, you know, before practice, getting something in. Are they, like, when you're seeing this 11-2 and the way they're performing now, do you see other Yeah, well, the thing is, the, the challenge that everyone has is, like, you know, and I said this earlier, the context is important. You know, you look at your your schedule, you, know, you go game by game, but you also look at, okay, what does the month look like in terms of practice opportunities? And then you might have, you've got to maximize your time, whether it's, you know, early group or it's, you know, in a ballroom or it's a film session in, in, in a coach's office, a film session in my office. Uh, it's coming back at night. It's, you know, even if we have an off day, we still expect you to get into the gym, you know, like in uh, combining recovery, treatment, and staying sharp is, you know, like that's what you have to do. You have to build throughout the course of the season. And so we got to continue to build habits and then whatever our circumstances are, make, make the most of them because you're always going to be challenged. The, the starters, we're still, you know, when you look at our, our home road uh, schedule so far, we're still, you know, we're, I think we're plus five to the road, you know, and I don't know, how many, I think it's 10, 10 back to backs. And that's a, a lot in a short amount of time. So Jericho and Precious, they're 24, 25 years old, but had a big task tonight, you know, literally in the form of Nikola Jokic. They seem so well prepared, like even proprioception wise for his minuscule movements. What goes into, like, <laughs> Well, we well we have like we have great advanced scouts, and so 
uh, I think you build that habit over the course of the season, how you prepare for it. I always talk about preparation for each game. And you have to have routines, and you don't veer from that. And you don't get distracted. Uh, and then every night you're going to be challenged in a different way. So, you know, they're a well-rounded team. They're like, you, and it's obvious, like, Jokic's greatness, but Murray's a great player as well. And Gordon's great at what he does. And then Pope fits them perfectly, and he's a terrific player. And then when you add in Porter shooting, that team is very well built, and they play so – and I think understanding what the strengths and weaknesses of your opponent are is a, a big part of winning. And so, and then everyone has to be tied together. And they're, you know, they're good on both sides of the ball. They're, you know, they're good defensively. They're great offensively. Jokic, you can, you know, he's seen every type of defense you could possibly play. He doesn't force things. He, you know, he reads the game as well as anybody. He's, he's got a point guard's mind. Uh, in he, he, you know, he can shoot the three. He can, he, he no look passes. He's, he knows where everyone on the floor is. It's, you know, that's that's a lot, and there's a reason why they they are who they are. So, um, you know, in the challenge for the young guy, I always say that I think they. I was confident, like you know, obviously I don't want to see any of our guys get injured, but I see the way these guys work, and I know when the opportunity comes, I always say we have more than enough. If you're here, you're a great player. So get in there and get the job done. And, you know, 1 through 15, I'm very confident in all of them. Does being the reigning champs mean anything to you? I mean, it's the team that just... No, you know, like I know like for you guys, it's like that's something. It's like we respect them because of what they have achieved. But I think in this league, you have to respect everybody. If you don't respect people, you're going to get beat. And you let up just a little bit. And, you know, like... Sometimes, you know, everyone tends to look at a schedule, oh, you should win this game. No, you, there's no sh you should win. You have to earn your win, you know, so you can't overlook anybody. And, you know, like the challenge is to continue to build and not feel good about yourself, to concentrate on improvement so you're playing your best at the end. Whatever it is that we could be, that's where we want to be at the end. Do you ever recall, you ever recall having the coaches challenge that early in the game? Yeah, you know, like there's a whole, you know, what you do is, you know, we put a lot of time into, it was one of our summer projects. Like when do you challenge? What are the exceptions to challenge? That sort of thing. What What's the likelihood of something being overturned? Uh, and then we communicate with the league. So we have a pretty good feel for it. You know, we don't get them all right. And what are the ones that, you know, are hard to get overturned? And you always want to try to keep one in your back pocket for the end of the game. So that's the way we... You know, we we make those decisions. He didn't get his second foul until the fourth quarter. Yeah, well, that and that's why, like, oftentimes, you know, like, you usually, you know, you wait, and, and, but you know, if you feel like it's a hundred percent, you sometimes you roll the dice. Yep. Yeah.